let's go to to the question and answers of chapter who did patrick's homework so this is the chapter 1 of honey sickle book let's read out the question and answer question 1 what did patrick think his cat was playing with patrick thought that his cat was playing with a little doll so if you remember the chapter patrick thought cat was playing with a little doll okay what was it really it was in fact a very small sized man an elf okay ek chhota sa aadmi tha aur patrick ko kya laga ki cat khel rahi hai ek chote se doll ke sath actually mein wo ek bahut chhota sa size ka man tha jisko hum elf bolte hain theek hai why did the little man grant patrick a wish theek hai wo jo chhota sa aadmi tha wo patrick ko wish kyu bola ki tumhe jo mangna hai mango because patrick has saved the tiny man's life from the cat by not handing him back to the cat so he promised to fulfill one wish of patrick theek hai kyunki patrick ko usne bola ki cat ko mujhe mat do tum jo bologe wo wish main tumhara pura karunga so patrick kya kiya save the tiny man's life uske जान को बचा लिया किससे फ्रॉम द कैट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वाज पैट्रिक्स विश पैट्रिक हेटेड डूइंग होमवर्क हिज ग्रेटेस्ट विश वाज दैट द लिटिल मैन शुड डू ऑल हिज होमवर्क टिल द एंड ऑफ द सेशन सो इफ यू रिमेंबर द चैप्टर व्हेन पैट्रिक सेव्ड the tiny man's life from the cat the tiny man granted patrick a wish now what was the wish wish was the patrick wanted the elf to do all his homework till the end of the session session ya fir semester jo likhna hai aap likh sakte ho okay the fourth question in what subjects did the little man need help to do patrick's homework so kaun se subjects the jisme little man ko help chahiye hota tha taki wo patrick ka homework kar sake so the little man needed patrick's help in now the subject name maths english and history next is how did patrick help him a patrick ne kaise help kiya kisko little man ko patrick sat beside the little man uske bagal mein baitha and guided him aur usko bataya ki homework mein kya karna hai kaise likhna hai kis book se likhna hai he brought books from the library and read out to him बुक लेके आया पैट्रिक लाइब्रेरी से और रीड कर कर के उसको लिखने के लिए बोला किसको एल्फ को जो लिटिल मैन था ठीक है हु डू यू थिंक दिट पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क द लिटिल मैन और द पैट्रिक हिमसेल्फ ठीक है आपको क्या लगता है कि पैट्रिक का होमवर्क किसने किया वो लिटिल मैन ने किया या फिर पैट्रिक खुद किया ठीक है तो इसका आंसर है इट वॉज पैट्रिक हिमसेल्फ हु एक्चुअली डिड ऑल द होमवर्क सो पैट्रिक खुद ही ने सारा होमवर्क किया था ही हैड टू हेल्प दल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन विद गाइडेंस एंड बुक क्योंकि पैट्रिक ही लाइब्रेरी से बुक लाता था पैट्रिक ही रीड करता था पैट्रिक ही सब कुछ एक्सप्लेन करता था कि लिटिल मैन को लिखना क्या है तो अगर आप देखो तो होमवर्क किया किसने एक्चुअली में तो होमवर्क पैट्रिक खुद नहीं किया था वर्किंग विथ लैंग्वेज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन द सेंटेंसेस बिलो 
विद द वर्ड्स एंड फ्रेजेस फ्रॉम द बॉक्स ठीक है ये सारे वर्ड्स जो आपको दिख रहे हैं ये आपको फिर इन द ब्लैंक्स में डालने हैं ठीक है तो मैंने यहाँ पे डाल के ऑलरेडी रखा है सम पीपल फाइंड हाउस होल्ड कोर्स अ बोर बट आई लाइक टू हेल्प एट होम हु स्टोल द डायमंड स्टिल अ मिस्ट्री डायमंड को किसने चुराया वो अभी भी मिस्ट्री है मतलब किसी को पता नहीं है This semester we are going to have a class exhibition. True to his word, the elf began to help Patrick. True to his word मतलब जैसा बोला और वैसा ही वो किया. Can you look up out of hell out? Can you look up this word in the dictionary? ठीक है. I started early to be on time, but I was out of luck. ठीक है मतलब लक हमारे साथ नहीं था आउट ऑफ लक देर वॉज अ ट्रैफिक जैम ठीक है शी से शी हैज गॉट लॉट ऑफ बुक्स बट बिटवीन यू एंड मी आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर बोरोड मतलब उसने कहा उसके पास बहुत सारे बुक हैं बट ये हमारे तुम्हारे बीच में एक बात है कि मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ज्यादातर जो उसके बुक्स हैं वो सारे बोरोड है मतलब किसी और से लिए हुए हैं उसके बुक्स नहीं है अब क्रॉस वर्ड के क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स देख लो हिंट मैंने यहाँ पे रखे नहीं है बस आंसर्स है सो यू कैन राइट डाउन द आंसर्स फर्स्ट इज वेरी डब्ल्यू ई ए आर वाई ओके सेकेंड इज स्काउल्ड एस सी ओ डब्ल्यू एल ई डी स्काउल्ड थर्ड इज ब्रीचेस बी आर ई ई सी एच ई एस ब्रीचेस फोर्थ इज Glitch, G L I T C H, glitch. Now fifth one, elf, E L F, elf. Now sixth one is cowled, cowled, C O L E D. If the down sixth, it is coarse. Seventh is hamper. Eight is shrieked. Okay, now there's a homework for you. Learn the word meanings and the learn the word meanings and the spellings of these words. Okay. Now the next question in the story, Patrick does difficult things he hate to do because the elf pretend he need help. Have you ever done something difficult or frightening by pretending about it some way? Now tell you tell your classmate about it. ठीक है? So यहाँ पे क्या है? कुछ ऐसे phrases दिए हुए हैं, ऐसे कुछ words भी हैं जिससे आपको sentences बनाने हैं. I am not very fond of keeping my room clean and tidy, but my sister does all this for me. I have not developed a liking for non-veg but my elder brother does not support me I have taken to playing football I have developed a liking for a chess also I appeal to my friend to play some game sports can be boon in career making they give a boost to my confidence my desk mate is keen on getting a grade I hope you will assist me also preparing my lessons so see the example and make phrases and sentences with these words okay that's it you have to do over here and in the story you must have noticed that it has used the rhyming words okay so here there are two lines of rhyme two lines of sentences where you can see there are rhyming words you said and instead okay now this has to be written by you the rest of the poem so you can write down the same and if you see here again the rhyming words i have used cat dad homework shirk size wise okay now next is look at these sentences too boring he said cleaned his room now these two are from the poem suppose if i asked to rewrite these sentences in simple words so how you will write it 
You'll write it like this, right? Homework is too boring, he said. And he cleaned his room and did his course. Now next is rewrite the following incomplete sentences carefully so that reader does not have to guess what is left out. More and more books. Now you have to rewrite the incomplete sentences. This sentence is not complete. You have to make a sixth sentence. Banana hai. The writers and poets read more and more books. Next is too difficult. This personal question is too difficult to answer. Third is got up late, missed the bus. When I got up late yesterday morning, I missed the school bus. Fourth is solve the mystery. Lord Krishna solved the mystery of life after death. Okay. Now, the next question. Look at this cartoon. So, you have to look at the cartoon which is there on your book. I have not kept it here. So, you can take the look of the answer. It is about a father's concern for the betterment of his child. Yes, the cartoon is really funny. Father orders the child to labor with his studies, but he forbids the boy to read the laws against child labor. Do you think a cartoon is serious drawing? Why or why not? A cartoon is chiefly meant to make us laugh. It is also a serious drawing in one sense. It draws our attention to some problem that affects us all. So these are the short answer type question. What was Patrick's chief interest? Patrick's chief interest was to play hockey, football and video games. What warning did the teacher give to Patrick? The teacher noticed that Patrick never did his homework. So they warned him that he would remain a fool and illiterate person. How did Patrick get his wish granted by the elf? Patrick saved the life of the elf from a cat. So the elf promised to fulfill one wish of his savior. What made Patrick believe that he was lucky? Patrick hated homework and loved sports. He called himself lucky when the tiny man agreed to do all his homework. Why did the little man face wrinkle and frown? The little man was an elf. He had not studied maths or English. So he was angry when he called upon to do Patrick's homework. The little man kept his word. But there was one glitch. What was it? The little man did not go back on his promise. But his problem was that he did not know maths, English or human history. The little elf was a nag. How did it help tell upon Patrick's health? The little elf agreed to do a Patrick's homework. But he had a problem. He was always seeking Patrick's help. Overwork tired him and caused swelling in his eyes. Next question. What changes came in Patrick's behavior in the end? In the end, Patrick became a model boy. He cleaned his room, did all his daily work, became cheerful and polite. Now see the long answer type question. There are three. Who did Patrick homework? Why and how? Patrick had no interest in studies. He hated doing his homework. He was lucky to get a helper. It was an elf. He had saved the elf from a cat and the elf promised to do all Patrick's homework for 35 days. But the poor elf was blank in English and maths. He sought Patrick's help and guidance. Patrick brought books from the library and worked hard to solve all sums. He got good marks. Actually, it was Patrick himself who did all his homework. How did Patrick get supernatural help? Was the elf intelligent enough to answer the question in all these subjects? One day, Patrick found his cat playing with a doll. He rescued the tiny doll, who in fact was an elf. He promised to grant his savior one wish. Patrick told him to do all his homework for 35 days. The elf had to keep his word, but he was quite ignorant of language and maths and even other subjects. He called out Patrick to come and guide him. Third question. Give the characteristics feature of the elf which help Patrick. Patrick saved a little doll from his cat. That doll was in fact a very small sized man and elf. It was timid. He felt grateful to his savior. In return, he promised to grant Patrick a wish. He could not say no to any of the Patrick requests. He agreed to do Patrick's homework, but he was illiterate. He sought Patrick's guidance at every steps. So I hope 
you understood all the question and answers if not go through the video again and write it down in your notebook and textbook okay thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe please do subscribe the channel thank you bye bye